bit of market info on Titans Bears. Um, Chicago hosting this game. We opened Chicago four and a half in May. We haven't seen a ton of movement all summer. Again, you can still bet the Bears laying four. Titans saw about a half point move off of that. Maybe it's starting to drift a little bit further towards Tennessee, but it still kind of looks like we're, we're painted four across the board. Um, I, I was excited to see uh, the Bears starters play a lot in preseason. Caleb Williams had his moments. I don't want to say he looked great, but he didn't look terrible in terms of a rookie quarterback with all the pressure of a number one pick. I do like the fact that the defense played well, uh, a great uh, uh, scoring ratio, 12-2 uh, to two sack ratio. The run defense looked good. And then you get the revenge element here, right? You get the Bears safety, Kevin Byard, who was a stud on the Titans team last year. Chris, uh, do any of those factors play in when handicapping this game at all? Well, what factors in is what uh, Steve would probably say is how can you take Tennessee when the, you could have bet it at six or five or, mm. you know, four and a half. So uh, I, I kind of agree in this situation. Uh, you know, some games I can live with it. Some games I can't. And uh, um, that kind of makes me sit this game out more than anything. But there's just too many unknowns with both of these teams. This is yeah. uh uh this is a situation where I want to sit back and watch because I, I we don't know enough. Uh, I'm. Uh, we don't know enough about either one of these teams to really. We can talk to her blue in the face, and we can say this. We can say that. There's just too much change, and uh, to really predict. Let's see what happens on the field here. Let's use that information in future weeks. Yep. You know the when a point spread is around four, Jared. I don't get very excited about betting a team, either team, and here's why. It's not going to get down to three. So four is a dead number. Five is a dead number. So I'm not going to steal wins by getting the extra half points. I know plus four and a half is attractive, but teams games really don't land for much anymore. And because of that, um, I pay a whole lot more attention to games lined right around three and right around seven. And I have a lot more wagers on games like that. So I'm going through, I got all my tickets from the summer in front of me <laughs> and what I played and I don't have one bet on this game. So I, wow. I completely blank uncertainty about how good Caleb Williams is also. Yeah, I agree.